In my opinion, quality of care has improved, John, because OCM has really given us a blueprint of how do we pay attention to avoidable expenses to improve the patient satisfaction. And as a byproduct, we could improve the cost of care. And I, I elaborated that, but once again, let me go back and rehearse that. What we saw was the biggest opportunity was the hospital expense, hospital-related expenses for patients who didn't need to be hospitalized. And that was simply because of lack of access to the care. When we saw that about half of our patients ended up in ER at one in the morning because they couldn't get through to the doctor's office, we started uh, preparing a brochure where uh, we give patients uh, almost notification that if they need to be seen between 8.30 to 5 or 6, they could just walk in, not even waiting to call. And so we kept two slots open every day at both the locations. So initially, there was a financial challenge because when you keep two slots open at both the locations every day, we are not producing any income out of those uh, uh, 30-minute slots. But when we saw that a patient with mild fever who came to the clinic had low white blood count, we could give them growth factors, we could give them IV fluids, we could give them IV antibiotics that would save them a trip to the hospital that would that reduced our spending uh, to the tune of 40% compared to my colleagues as far as the hospital bucket of expenses concerned. But above and beyond that, what we saw that if patient went to hospital on Thursday night, they would be in the hospital till Monday morning, which would be a loss of productivity for patient. It would be inconvenience to their loved ones. And by simply tweaking some of the process, we were able to improve the quality of life for patients as well. So we were able to achieve two aims, reduce the cost of care, improve patient satisfaction, and reduce financial oxygen of patients' family as well.